Hi, everybody. I'm Lisa Askley, the inventor. Welcome to my podcast. Hi, everybody. I'm Lisa Askelis, the Adventress. Welcome to the Adventress podcast. I'm here with my daughter, Brittany Askelis. Hello. <laughs> What's going on, cookies? Oh, nothing. Living the dream. It's almost Halloween. Even what? though it's, I'm counting on Halloween. I can't stand the summer. I want it to be fall. That's how I feel. Even September. September's good, too. Oh, I'm, I'm living it up. I'm loving I'm the sweating. summer. The beach, the sand, the whole thing. I'm loving it. I, I can't even. I'm ready for a vacation. You're talking about um, uh, October. In October, I want to continue the heat. I'm going to Florida in October. Good for you. Need to continue the heat. Um, so what's been going on? What's your week? Nothing really. No, uh, I think you've been doing a lot. You did a lot. You run around a lot. You did a couple of... Um... Oh, well, we, my job, uh, POAC Autism Services, I work for a nonprofit. Uh, so I'm sure you guys know this already. If not, that's what I do. Uh, we do surfing events every year for the autism community. Uh, our last uh, surfing event was at Island Beach State Park in New Jersey. Uh, hundreds of families came uh, to enjoy the day. Uh, we had lifeguards, volunteers, and to have the kids go in the water. It was very, very fun, very therapeutic. It was a really fun day. And now our next event is our Pirate and Princess Carnival. And that's a yearly thing as well. We get thousands of people there and the families. Uh, we have princesses and pirates perform, do a dance, song. Uh, we have carnival rides. Is this free for the um, yes. for the parents? It's free the- for the the families with autism. That's fantastic. It's only for our families with autism, and we want to. It's it's almost like a safe space because a lot of families don't want to go to certain places because their child might have a meltdown or something like that. And these are all our family. You know, Poac mm-hmm. is family, and that's basically the motto. That's fantastic. We want to make lives better every day, so we are there to do these free events for our uh, families that are living in New Jersey. So that's what I'm doing currently. That's, that's wonderful, Brittany. God bless you for doing that. And Gary, you know, Gary, the executive director of POAC. Yes, Yes. absolutely. And and every, the whole team, everybody who works for POAC. Yep. They put a lot into it. Um, Yeah. That sounds like fun. I think the surfing, did you surf at all? No. You didn't surf? That's not a part of my job description (laughs) is to surf. (laughs) You surf the web. Yeah. That's, about that's it. a good one. Yep. That was good. Good segue. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what did you do? Well, I had a great week. I had a, a, a quite a few consultations. I had um a revisit. So I I had a consultation with a gentleman about 2 months ago who came to me with an incredible product, a toothbrush that lights up and dispenses toothpaste. And um, we talked about, you know, QVC and, and, you know, getting him into Bed Bath & Beyond, et cetera. And at the time, he had nothing manufactured. And he got so pumped up in the meeting. He he said, you know what? Somehow, I'm going to find a way to get investors, and I'm ordering 18,000 units the next time I see you. Wow. I'll have 18,000 units. I go, really? Is this really happening? Um. And keep in mind, again, this was a couple of months ago. I met him again this week, and he had um, big inventory. I have now what I need to pitch to all of these stores. And I guarantee you, this guy is going to be everywhere. It's a light-up toothbrush. It, it lights up in the dark. And it's it, it's a toothbrush that actually times you. You're supposed to brush your teeth for two minutes, um, according to... Um, not the FDA, uh, Dental Association. You should be brushing your teeth for two minutes for optimal cleansing. And uh, so the light stays on for two minutes and you can't shut it off. You can't cheat. So love this product. And it's for love. kids, right? This it's is a kids, kids toothbrush. It's yes. for kids. So it's magnificent. It's So that was exciting for me. I love new and exciting products, but I also love the determination that people have 
and he spoke into existence that he was going to manufacture all of these uh, units, which he did, and it happened. So I met him, and he was so excited. He goes, I did it. I said, you did do it, and and you're my inspiration, you know, just like our next guest uh, who's coming on shortly. Yes, it's Angie Myers. So she has a really cool story. She spoke a lot of things into existence. It's amazing. Can't wait to have her on. And... On that same note, her product, the My Buddy Towel, is our product pick of the week. Uh, the My Buddy Towel, the original My Buddy Towel, it's a fun and easy way to dry. You know, it's for, it's for your, your kids. You know, mm-hmm. if you have a child that, you know, maybe uh, uses too many towels when they get out of the bathtub or you just want to make them warm because they're cold. Um, I know when I was younger, I don't even know. What did I do when I was younger? Did I not do a towel? Did I just run around naked? What, no, what was my, what I used my to tendencies? warm your towels. <laughs> oh, yeah, in the dryer. And then wrap I wrapped them you up me. in the towel. And that's exhausting. I apologize for all of that. And my No, but it was antics. so nice. Yeah, but you know what? This is what mommies do. And, and what she did was she found a solution, too. She says, I don't want my baby to be, to be, to be cold because she always complained about, you know, being ch- chilly and she needed three towels and so she came up with this idea yeah it's the first and only towel and onesie in one it's just a simple slip on zip up and go uh it comes in a variety of colors uh but the color colors are also animals a green frog a pink flamingo and a gray shark shark people do 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 do. baby Baby shark 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 shark, everyone should know that song so please go online to mybuddytowel.com and pick up a my buddy towel. It's great for your kids uh, or I if you one. know someone that, I, need, I need I one. know Angie I need needs to make sure. the adult towel onesies and i'll just you know i wear a lot of pajama onesies i need a towel onesie because <laughs> when i get in the shower i just lay there i'm like all right well i don't want to get ready so like we said this is our product pick of the week my buddy towel now let's just go right in with this interview cannot wait to uh share with you guys angie myers and her my buddy towel well, Angie Myers is here. Welcome, Angie, for being on our show tonight. Thank you for having me. How are you? Doing wonderful. We hear you're doing some amazing things. It has been one opportunity after another. I've been very blessed. Well, you know what, girl? You have a wonderful, wonderful product. You really do. Thank you. And I think so, too. Yeah, well, and every <laughs> a lot of people do, too. So let's talk about what your product is. Well, it's a towel. It's a onesie. So it's a towel and onesie in one for kids. They just slip on, zip up, and go right after the batch. Batch. Oh, my. (laughs) Right after the bath. It's been a long day. Mm -hmm. The bath, pool, or, um, you know, leaving the beach. That's the best. We need one of those. I told you that. I, I need an adult one for sure. Yes. And I, you're going to start been, working on that, right? <laughs> that's right. That's definitely on my to-do list. And what's it called? My Buddy Towel. My Buddy Towel. We want to make sure that everybody hears it. They know your website. They know your web address. So let's say that out loud, Ange. What's your website? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, www.mybuddytowel.com. Good, good. That's how we're going to start. Awesome. So my big question is, how did you come up with the with my buddy towel? Where did it spark? Obviously, you have children, and that kind of brought it to life. Yeah. So my daughter always wanted to use too many towels to dry off. One on her head, one around her shoulders, one wrapped around her waist. Oh my god! And she was she was still complaining <laughs> about being too cold. And I am a mom of six children. Wow. The laundry's never, <laughs> laundry's god never ending. Bless you, was. girl. Yes, he really did. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Laundry was never ending as it was. And I needed a solution to stop washing so many unnecessary towels. And she needed a solution to keep her warm right after the bath. And so I had this light bulb moment of a towel onesie. And it's come very far in about two years. Just amazing. It really is spectacular. Solution-oriented products sell. So Thank you. 
Angie, my question is, how long ago did this idea come to you? It was early 2017. Okay, not too long yeah. ago. So no, it's been fun. That's amazing. So I think I want to know, and everyone else here that's a uh, an entrepreneur wants to get to where you are because you've done so many amazing things from 2017 to now. Um, was it a hard process? What were your steps? Did you go through some challenges? What was your journey like? Um, well, when I had the idea... I just had to research, research, research. So that took up a lot of time just using Google and, you know, seeing if the product was out there. You know, you have to research to see if the product already exists. And I didn't come up with anything online or anything anywhere for sale like that. And then um, one thing just led to another and I found a manufacturer and got them made. And it was like Christmas morning opening up the box for the first time and seeing like your idea be an actual product it was amazing how did you find a manufacturer i have that how did you find a manufacturer because that's really not always the easiest thing to do yeah um well i did you know i reached out to a bunch but then if you honestly want to know one year for one of my children's birthday i ordered a dora the explorer Mm -hmm. costume off of alibaba Mm mm-hmm you know, and it's kind of, and then it's kind of like the Chinese version of Amazon, I think. Mm-hmm. Yes. And and so um, after not having any luck finding it in the USA, I remembered that Alibaba. So Alibaba then is kind of linked to, um, oh goodness, what is it? Um, I'm yeah, Alibaba. Okay, hold on a second. I just had a big AliExpress is where I got the Dora costume. Mm -hmm. And then Alibaba is like linked to AliExpress. And that's a big, long, drawn out story that is probably very boring for your listeners. No, no, that's (laughs) interesting. Sorry. Um, So, yeah, I just remembered that Dora Liquid Spoiler Excuse me, costume. And Mm -hmm. then I turned to Alibaba and and then I reached out and I really talked with a lot of different manufacturers to get quotes and prices and I worked with this one and it just felt like a good fit and you're very fortunate that that you know that, you did your due is, diligence you did do your yeah. re, uh, you know search and all that because everybody's not all that fortunate when they're reaching out to manufacturers they can't see you That's know right. and uh, so no you're very very fortunate very blessed I should say and uh, that's amazing. That's amazing. I hear you're doing a lot of things, um, with pitch con- competitions and all that. So give us some insight as to what's happening. You did something today and you're doing something in the future. Let me know. What's, what else is happening? Okay. Well, yeah, that's one way that I raise money to bring this all to life is enter contests. It's just there's always entrepreneur contests. Mm -hmm. So I enter. Sometimes I have to go pitch. Um, Sometimes it's, you know, the most likes moves on to the next round. Mm -hmm. It's all kinds of different contests. And just today I was on a Good Morning America segment. No way! Yeah. With um, Sarah and the Strahan and Sarah segment. Oh, my gosh. Congratulations. That's amazing. (laughs) That's why I'm so exhausted, you guys. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, um, that's okay. It's been an, like a whirlwind the last 72 hours. Wow. So, Good for you. Yes, it was amazing. There was hundreds submitted. Six were chosen to come out and pitch. And so two against two in each round. And I filmed on Tuesday and it aired on Tuesday. And it was announced that I was going on to the next round. Oh my yeah. gosh. So so as soon as that happened, then they wanted to fly the kids out. And my I gosh. Had, <laughs> and my husband had just left that morning for California because that's where he works. Mm-hmm. And so it was a huge puzzle to put together to try to, who could take the kids for us? Who can watch the other kids for us? And it turned out my mom jumped on a plane at 6 a.m., Flew down to the kids, and then they all flew out from Tulsa, and arrived last night. So you're all <laughs> together. Night. You so you were all together yeah. on Good Morning America. Yeah, two kids and my mom. That's absolutely unbelievable. Yeah. It is, and they and flew so, you out. Yeah, and them. Yeah, 
they they so yeah. they've already invested. They believed in you yeah, enough to invest in your entire family. I know. It is it's been a whirlwind like I said and um it's a uh, and the judges were Kim Perel. Mhm. And are you familiar with her? I am. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. That's great. <laughs> and then Joy Magano. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, so sure. Was, oh my gosh. Amazing. Yeah, that that was a very big surprise this morning that she was wow. also the guest judge and it was just ama- it's so much inspiration, you know? Oh, sure. So were you yeah. nervous? I wasn't. But then, you know, I don't speak that well in front of people. I mm-hmm. really need coaching on public speaking. It's, this was a whole learning experience for me because mm-hmm. today I know I need to get better at that pitch. You know what? I have to tell you. Well, all right. You practice your pitch. But when you have passion like you do about your product, it's very yeah. easy to talk about it. And you do. Yeah. You flow very well. You know yeah. how you made it. And this is what people want to hear. What Brittany asked you, your backstory. How did you yeah. come up with the product? What made you come up with it? That's the excitement for the judges. When people yeah. are judging your yeah. pitch, I mean, that's really, that's the interesting part. You had an aha yeah. moment and you went with it. You did your yeah. due diligence. You you sourced manufacturing. Everybody doesn't do that. Right. But you had the passion for it. So I'm sure you did extremely well. Yeah. I'm my, I'm my biggest critic obviously and but I, I like it as a learning experience and I know I got what I needed mm-hmm. today and next time I will you know go in better prepared I feel but I, it was an amazing experience and so there was three winners I went against a fanny pack guy mm-hmm. uh, and a sauce lady mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then me and um, we were competing for $25,000 oh my gosh yeah and so they played it up the whole time. One winner, $25,000. But then they surprised us and said, you're all going home with a prize. Oh, wow. That's yeah, it incredible. Was amazing. But then they broke it down to first, second, and third. Mm-hmm. And um, Fanny Pack was third. He got 5000 I was second, and I got 10000 oh, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Congratulations. Know. Thank That's you. wild. Yeah. And then sauce. $10,000? The yeah. I know. It's oh. amazing. So the sauce lady got went with 25000 and it was just the perfect fit. I thought they had amazing entrepreneurs, like organic entrepreneurs. You know, mm. I'm a mom. The fanny pack guy is a dad of two. And then the sauce lady, they were just homeless two years ago. Oh my God. And so yeah. it, it was amazing stories and amazing how everything fell into place. And I'm very, yeah, very blessed for this amazing opportunity. Um, now, what was your question? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was just your journey that, well, that was my question. Um, had like, you know, how you got here and everything. So now since you were on th- this show, I can only imagine your business is going to go up and up because now America has seen you. And yeah. where are you selling your product right now? On my website and then in a, a couple local boutiques. And then there's one water park down in Texas. But yeah, I want to take, I'm ready to take it to the next level. That's definitely what the money is going to go for is and i really need to step it up on the marketing and you know uh figure out what i should order what i should wait on because the number one thing requested is adult sizes Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so i would love to do adult sizes but i would also like to do little kid nickelodeon disney characters you're speaking it into existence so it's gonna happen (laughs) you know that oh my gosh okay let me tell you another thing okay just 10 days ago ish maybe 12 Mm -hmm. i was in you know just thinking hard and i was like i just need ten thousand (laughs) dollars you're giggling (laughs) i'm getting the goosebumps just thinking this i was like i just need ten thousand dollars to get this going and and it happened and it happened and it happened so fast wow and so that's why you know I wasn't down on myself because I didn't get first place. It's not about the money, mm-hmm. you know. It was it was what I needed, and it certainly <laughs> because will I help. put it out there. It, you um, did, 
And you know yeah. what? That what a that's great advice to anyone out there who is an entrepreneur, an inventor, looking to start a business. You have to speak positive words into existence because the universe hears it and gets yeah. it. Really does. And yeah. it works both and ways. You do the opposite. You start talking about things that are negative and negative hap- happens. Yeah, you're correct. The negative happens. And, um, but the positive happened and it happened for and, you. Yeah. And the more you're positive, the more you put it out there, just the faster you attract. And what I love about uh, you and your family is, and, and I've met your husband, we were in the, we were at Javits, the toy, uh, toy fair. And yeah. um, your family is so supportive of you. Yeah. Your husband, your, your, your mom, your children. And that's really a big part of being successful in a business, in any business. Yeah. I wouldn't be where I am without them Mm -hmm. and without this amazing entrepreneur group that are all supporting each other, including you guys, Mm -hmm. you know, through this whole experience, I would have never known all y'all. Yeah. No, this is beautiful. (laughs) So so I have another question for you. So how did you, so what is it that you do? If you could, Give some advice to inventors out there who want to pitch products to um, places like, well, you're finding all of these contests that are constantly going on. Where are you finding this information? Uh, Well, mostly Facebook. And then this past one for the Good Morning America one is uh, just on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. You know, it depends on who you follow, what they share or what they're involved in. So I just try to surround myself with people that are, the same mindset as me mm-hmm. and you know that are have been successful and when they share stuff then I enter and that's so important and you just said yeah. key also sharing information and social mm-hmm. media is giant for that we thank god for for social media today back in the day when i started there was no social media right you know there was um uh, we let we let our fingers do the walk and you know you yeah. probably don't know what i'm talking about yellow pages Oh, I was going to say making phone calls. <laughs> What's that? Same thing. Making phone calls. I was going to say making phone calls. Yep, yellow pages. Yep, yeah. we let our fingers yeah. do the walking. I remember seeing a yellow page book once. <laughs> well, it was in our... It was, <laughs> flipping yeah. through it. I used it to fan myself when I was younger. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. No, this is so good. And I think there's something else you did recently, right? Didn't you pitch for something else? Uh, some kind of oh. a big idea? Did you do a QVC or HSN? Did oh, they do some kind of a... Well, um, yeah. That was another yeah. one, right? Yeah, I was thinking that you were talking about your event in June. That oh, I went well, to. yeah, we'll get to that yeah. one too, which is... Yeah. yeah. Um, All of that just played into place too, because that was my first time I went up on stage or, you know, in front of an audience without reading off a piece of paper. Really? <laughs> or reading off my phone. Yeah, because I always, I always just need that security of... You know, what if I forget? What if I go blank minded? I just want it in front of me. But at your thing, there was so much inspiration in that room. Mm-hmm. I just knew I just had to get up and just let it flow out. And it did. It gave me the confidence to go on and do this, you know. And it's your product. You know, yeah. I mean, that's why I always tell I tell inventors, you know, they ask me if, if I get on QVC, should I be the person? I say absolutely, because no one is going to pitch your product like you do. Like the questions, yeah. Brittany, just asked you, you were able, you're not reading, you're able to tell your story, you know what happened uh-huh. to you, you know what your journey was and is. So yeah. it's easy. It's easy. Just be your authentic self and tell your story and you'll always win. Yeah, yeah. And it's just, you have to practice that and tell yourself that a lot. To, well, at this point, I have to like, just keep on staying positive because I know it will work out. Yeah, um, it's, and it has. And, and yes. I, I, I have advice for you. Okay. Every step of the way, take a look at every single thing that you're doing. Look uh-huh. at it and, and, and pat yourself on the back because this is another, you've, you've made it another step forward in your journey to the next level right? you've made it to the next level so many people don't pay attention to how far they've gotten and just knock themselves about how far they're they're not or how far behind because they're looking at somebody else's success and you don't give yourselves the credit many people do not give themselves the credit because you're always pushing to and striving to be better and do better right Uh right yeah yeah so you got to stop and appreciate every single moment and journal 
journal everything. I need to get better at that. Journal. You have you have <laughs> to journal right. it. And and I would say every especially where you are now. I mean, you're uh-huh. nonstop, girl. You're going yeah. from one thing to another thing. And, and it's great to be able to look back and read, even to your children later on, you know? Yeah. Take a look back at your story and where, date everything, where you started and where you are now. Yeah. That's wild. It That's is, a big yeah. deal. You realize that, right? Yeah. Good. And it just, it, this whole experience has changed me, you know, uh, woke me up, made me stronger. I have so much more joy in my life, too, yeah. just by hustling this little towel of mine, you know? It's um, such a good idea. And and I uh, sorry to cut you off. I really before I forget, I want to know about this uh this other pitch that you did, um, what my mother was saying, QVC Home Shopping yeah. Network. Yeah, so I submitted for the next next product find in um on Monday in down in Florida. Oh my god. I flew down <laughs> That's <there>. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I flew down there. Um, that was already prepared. That was already like planned. I knew that for like a week or two. Um, the good morning America segment. I didn't know until Friday, that Friday, <laughs> I hadn't booked my Florida flight yet. Cause we were crazy busy, but I knew it was just going to be expensive and I was just going to have to do it. But I hadn't booked my Florida flight yet. These guys call on Friday to ask me if I'm available for next week. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, as long as it's at you know, Monday afternoon, <laughs> So here I am flying to Florida, red eye, and I do my pitch in, at, Q, or at HSN there in Florida. And then by 3.30, I'm back on a plane flying out to New York for the Good Morning America That's crazy. Show. That's insane. That, how how does that, you know, I didn't book that flight. Why? Because <laughs> the universe knew. That's right. Happening. <laughs> You're an inspiration, Ange. I got to tell oh, you. Goodness. You it's, are it's an crazy. inspiration. You really yeah. and truly are for all of those um, listeners out there because they want to hear this. They want to hear your story. You know, yeah. I, and, and it sounds easy and, you, you know, I know you're exhausted. It sounds simple, but it's a lot. You know, you having six children and you're still doing it. You have six yeah. children, a husband who goes away to, to California he, and yeah. he, you know, he's gone a lot and you're, you're home taking care of the kids and running your business. That's yeah. spectacular. It is. Ain't no stopping us now. <laughs> That's right. And I'm right? so glad I have you guys on my side on this and I know I can reach out to you for any advice ever. Every and, time and anytime, yeah. anytime. So wh- where are you now? What state I are am you in? Still in New York. We just finished. Um, the showdown was this morning, and so we are staying tonight. But we're flying out tomorrow afternoon. Oh, uh, well, I was going to say our uh, AOE members are having a big night out tomorrow night. You should just stay another night. Oh, we're we're yes. having a movie night on a rooftop in Asbury Park. I wish I could. Tell your husband you'll meet him home on Monday. Um. Well, I've got my two kids and my mom here too. We're already <laughs> I'm back. just kidding. No, they can they can all come. Because you know, you know, if I want something, I will make my way to it. I heard you pause. You know? I I know you <laughs> thought about it for half a second. You're like, well, maybe maybe I can work this out. <laughs> yeah, but I know. Oh my gosh, when my kids start school Monday. Wow. Oh my gosh, and I'm, <laughs> it's just gonna be a, a week that you know. I'm just going to be like, what the heck happened this month? I, you know, it yeah. disappeared. Time goes by so fast, too. Yeah, it does. It really does. It, it was just June. It was just the conference. And now we're in August. It's unbelievable. Yeah. And I can't help but to look at your Facebook page. I love the designs that you have. And I know you said you are going to branch out to Disney, Nickelodeon. But I think you had such the perfect timing to do. So I see a frog. Um, is this a flamingo? Did I say? Yep. And a shark, and baby shark is huge. <laughs> it is right now. It's yeah. actually been huge for a few years, but now they're going to make a TV show about it and all that stuff. So it does that sell out? Does the shark sell out the most? Um, first it was the frogs, and then yeah, the shark is popular. Um, I know in the older sizes, I am all sold out of sharks. So that's amazing. That's yeah. so, so cool. Cause we have, um, 
John, my fiance, and I, we have a goddaughter who's two and she loves, like, she was obsessed when she was a few months old, like one, like she, it was just amazing. I don't know what, if it's the music and looking at other babies, they just respond to it. It's like they stop crying. They have to stop what they're doing. With the sharks. With the baby shark mm-hmm. song. Yeah, it sounds And something. now sharks are so, between unicorns and sharks, it's like, that's all I'm seeing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. That's the next request for it is a unicorn. You really have to ramp. You're going to tell your manufacturer to ramp it up. She's ready. Okay, she good. Is, you're going to be getting some orders. An inspiration too, because she's like, believe in yourself, Angie. Oh, that is so <laughs> awesome. That is we, so wonderful. We have only talked through the translation system on mm-hmm. Alibaba. Oh, wow. We oh my have gosh. never chatted on the phone or FaceTiming or anything. And I think it's crazy. And I want to, because she's like the lady that helped me bring this idea to life, you know? So I am waiting for the day that we like jump on Skype, uh, <laughs> you know? And she's in China. She is in China. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. Isn't that something? Yeah. Well, girl, you, you are just spectacular. And such, you. again, you're, you're such an inspiration to, and people are going to 100% after they hear this, they'll be reaching out to you, asking you questions about your journey. Um, How I can help them. Any uh, advice? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Especially the moms. Yeah. Yes. You yeah. know, a lot of moms that are probably in a, they have an idea, they have kids with a certain product. How do I get started? I have this, I have this. I feel like a lot of them, if they haven't already been reaching out to you say how do you do it Mm -hmm. what you know you have six kids you're like super mom you know yeah you are super mom well thank you i just try to do what needs to be done and you've got (laughs) a lovely personality and you're Uh, you are fabulous you're sweet you're kind you're you're caring you you know you come out and you just we love you we absolutely Uh, love you you're amazing thank you i know i'm just like Everyone I meet, we just, you know, if it feels right, obviously, then, yeah, our, like, friendships flourish and we help each other out. Mm -hmm. That's right. Two hands at a time, girl. What's that? I said two hands at a time. Yeah. You know that. You know that. Now, as we wind down, Angie, I want to uh, ask a question, a few questions that we always or we try to do at the end of our interviews. Uh, The three random questions. So are you ready? Sure. Question one. Who would play you in a movie? Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe Winona Ryder or Jennifer Love Hewitt. Oh, nice. I didn't miss her. Uh-huh. One more, but I can't think of her name. I want to say like Sarah Jessica Parker. Parker, but I'm not sure if that's the right name. From Sex in the City. Nope. Yeah, that no, that's not her. Oh, There's Sarah like Michelle, Sarah Michelle Geller. Geller. No, not her either. She has three names? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think 10 Things I Hate About You she played. Let me see. Now I'm going to have to Google it. Wait, oh, my gosh. Not I not Julia you. Stiles. No. She two, three names. Oh, my gosh. It's going to kill me now. Is she well known today? No, more. Ten things I hate like, about you. You don't know that movie. No, I I, I, I saw the movie. What do you mean I don't know the movie? Who's in it? I don't know his name. Good looking guy, dark <laughs> hair. He was um right. Am I right? Don't so far? tell her anything, Angie. Go ahead. No, Who I know. I saw it? the movie. She thinks I'm not hip to movies <clears throat> and songs and or songs. <laughs> I'm the hippest mom there well, is. Well, it came out in '99. Besides Angie. All right. Well, I'll tell you. It's Heath Ledger. <laughs> May he rest in peace. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's your movie, but I don't think that was her actually. Um, okay, <laughs> oh, well, wait, m- wait, Melissa Joan Hart was she in that? No, it's not that one either. You know what? This is turning into trivia. I know it is. It's killing me because like, I'm looking at the cast right now, and I don't know. And it's a Sarah for sure. No, she's a three namer. I'm also on Google here. Um, well, let's just say that's, that's okay. Yeah, I was gonna say we can just keep it at the two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just stick to the. Okay, now to move forward, what would the name of your movie be? 
attack. I don't know. <laughs> Angie's journey. Perfect. Oh my gosh. I was thinking Angie's wish. That's really Angie's amazing. Wish. Oh, that's great. That's Angie's wish. Your $10,000 girl. And uh, one right. last question is. The last question is uh, you were stranded on a deserted island and you can bring one other person with you. It cannot be your significant other and it cannot be a family member. Who would it be? I would have to go with my best friend from kindergarten. Oh, that's beautiful. And you guys are still best friends. Obviously, you're yeah, still we're best still friends. friends. But yeah, but time goes by and we don't see each other one time for up to three years. But when we mm. still meet up, we, you know, it's like we just saw each other yesterday. I so. love it. That's a friendship. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. That's just like yeah. me. I had I have a best friend lives in Florida. I haven't seen her in five years. Saw her recently. It's like nothing ever like never missed a beat wasn't, yeah mm -hmm. yeah so about 30 years we've known each other oh that's amazing started yeah. in kindergarten all the way up to graduating so that is amazing angie this has been so great uh tell everyone once again how they can uh get in contact with your product you can shop at www.mybuddytowel.com awesome and your social media as well Yep. Instagram is my buddy towel and Facebook Facebook is the original my buddy towel. Awesome. Everyone follow Angie Myers. This is a great product. If you have a kid, you know a kid, you teach a kid, you watch a kid, give them this <laughs> this amazing product. Thank you so much, Angie. Angie, have a wonderful evening, honey. A blessed one and, and safe travels. Thank you, guys, and you enjoy your movie night. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a great night. All right, so this was uh, a spectacular interview with, with Ange. It was a conversation, not even an interview, because we don't interview. We, we chat. Were chit -chatting. We were chit-chatting. She's just a spectacular woman, as we said before. She, she's just wonderful and kind and and just she perseveres and she has a determination to succeed and just so proud of her and her family for the support that she gives her and all of the people around her who are, are mentoring her. So um, just want to thank her again for being on the show. It was amazing. Yeah, I, I loved it too. Just very down to earth. I just, you know, it was a really good interview. I really liked it. Uh, Angie, best of luck with everything and keep on, keep on keeping on and I'm waiting for my adult onesie. <laughs> so... That's it, guys. Um, if you ever want to be a part of our podcast, you have a product, you have an idea. First of all, you need to contact my mom if it's not patented, inventing a to Z dot com and for a consultation, because you've heard our podcast. People are raving about her. I personally don't need to rave about her because she's my mom. And I don't want to give her a big head. So it's too late. No, it's all right. Too late. I know what a wonderful mom I am. All right. It's true. Yes. So also Facebook, reach yeah. her, Lisa Ascalis. Yes, Winnie, our little doggie is here to close the show with us. Mm -hmm. That's on Facebook, YouTube, Lisa Ascalis, same as Twitter, Lisa Ascalis. Also, if you want to become an AOE member, that's a big thing. Um, they lift each other up two hands at a time all the time, supporting one another. Um, with their product, any advice, uh, www.aowie.com. Take a look at what we have going on month to month with our AOE members. Now, if you have a question for us on the podcast, or if you want to be interviewed on the podcast, we'll take we'll take a look. We'll talk to you. Don't be shy. The Adventurous Podcast at gmail.com. Shoot us an email. Tell us about what you're what you're doing, what you're going through. We'd love to hear from you. Also, everyone, please subscribe, rate, and review the Inventors Podcast wherever you listen to podcasts, whether it be Spotify, Google, Google Play, rather, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, literally wherever you listen to podcasts. Uh, please give us a five star review because it gives us a boost uh, for more people to find us. Uh, like I said, guys, the Inventors Podcast at gmail.com. We want to hear what you got to say. And 
so far we have been getting a lot of uh, good feedback from everyone so thank you so much uh being on this journey with us thus far and you are keeping me sane everyone you are really doing a great job (laughs) even though mom keeps me sane sometimes but now and again she is my mother we do have our our moments but they're they're the best moments and i wouldn't uh, trade that for anything of course you wouldn't baby um so listen guys thank you so much for listening always love doing this with my daughter it's a blast we crack up of course Uh, but i have to ask you guys to continue lifting each other up two hands at a time and sometimes you definitely have to use your foot peace